Hello, beloved. The time has come for me to address something, and that's um, part of my testimony. My testimony is very strong, um, and I have prayed over this for a very long time. I'm asking God, um, when, how should I do it, especially on this platform, although I've given it before in other platforms, especially in the church. However, um, because of my testimony is strong, I'll try to make this as short as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, however, it needs to be addressed and it needs to be said. And I haven't done a very good job at introducing myself on here, especially to all the new followers. My name is Carlos Morales. I am a pastor. I lead Divine Ministries International with churches in Kenya, uh, New Guinea, soon, um, Uganda, and Malawi, Africa. Um, with that being said, I am rooted here in the state of Florida. Uh, where I, came to Puerto, I came from Puerto Rico in 1977. I was born in Caguas, Puerto Rico. Um, but here is my testimony. I will apologize that this is long, but it needs to be said, and it also needs to be documented in hopes that in prayer that it also helps others out there who have struggled or are struggling with some of these things. <clears throat> I have asked God when I should address my testimony, especially on here, even though I have addressed it in other places. But I do not want to give the enemy a foothold on anything, especially when it comes to my testimony and my salvation. Okay, so as I already stated, I lived in Puerto Rico. Um, I was essayed between the ages of five, from the ages of five until 12. With that being said, um, it was a total of six individuals who did. Um, with that being said, I thought that that was, um, when you grow up with something like that and it's so continuous, you grow up to think that that's what you're supposed to do. So yes, I did li live a homosexual lifestyle up to the age of 38. Um, a lot of confusion. I was an addict to cocaine, alcohol, marijuana, you name it. I became homeless. I was a horrible person at one point. I was the type of person that will steal your eye and then help you look for it. Um, and I'm telling you my testimony because I have no shame in who I used to be. Um, I believe in the redemptive power of Jesus and the salvation that came through him and for him and for my life. Now, with that being said, um, when I gave my life to Christ, it came after um, I ended a 13-year relationship with another man. Um, and it was very traumatic. Um, very, very traumatic. And that night, I remember back in 2008, um, when this occurred, um, I cried out to Jesus at 1.30 in the morning. At that very moment, my mom and my aunt were interceding for me at her home. My mom was already a pastor. She had a church. As a matter of fact, her church was a street over from my house where I lived. I grew up in the church. Um, I departed the faith um, at the early age of 15, because of all the things that had happened, I didn't understand, and so on and so forth. Now, being gay was, was um, traumatizing to me. It was also uh, a, um, a spirit that tormented me. So I am not here to bash anybody. I will offer you the same salvation through Jesus as he gave to me. I understand more than most people think um, when it comes to that anyway. So... What brings me to this? This brings me to today because um, someone made a comment on a social, another social media platform, and it just um, asked, blatantly came out and asked if I was homosexual. I said no, I was. I gave my life to Christ, and I am confident in Him who gave me salvation and the freedom to be me in Him, being free from it. Now, having same-sex attraction doesn't change. That is something that you'll fight to the end. Just like when you're an alcoholic, you will fight the temptations of drinking. You will find the temptations of uh, uh, drug addiction. All of those things that can come with any sort of um, stronghold or um, that you need to be delivered from. Now, I am not married. I am asking God for the woman to come into my life who he has uh, assigned for me. Um, I'm also not out there looking. I'm not interested in anybody. I don't practice any of those things. Um, when it comes to looking for a romantic partner, I don't. My mind is just not there. Um, a lot of people have come and gone, um, women, um, and it has turned out to be completely something that wasn't godly. Especially being a pastor, um, you will attract many, many things. And I praise God because I asked them a long time ago, whenever these things, temptations, people, whatever, are going to come my way, 
please reveal it to me. And he does, and he does. And so he has already prepared my heart for, for this and um, any onslaught that may come because I am in him, not in anybody else. Um, my life is for me. My anointing is for the world. Um, so for the people who essayed me, some have passed. I have forgiven everyone, everyone. And my heart, Jesus filled my heart with compassion for them. And glory be to God, they're all saved. They all gave their life to God. They also asked for forgiveness. But I've gone on with my life, and I gave my life to Christ the night that I cried out to him. And he did show up. He did show up. And I was 38 at the time. I'm 55 now. Um, and I have not looked back. I have not turned back. Have I struggled with a lot of things? Absolutely. Absolutely. But I praise God because he's been faithful. He has been there the entire time. My entire story points to him and him alone. I cannot give credit to any single person. Although God did put a whole lot of people in my path to help me reach um, fruition in my salvation, in meaning understanding what salvation really is what it is to follow Jesus, what it is to study the Bible, what it is to worship, what it is to praise. And I will tell you this right now, when I was five years old, even back then, I remember that all I ever wanted was to sing to God. And moving a little forward in the story, as I told you just previously, that my, my mom's church was a street over. <clears throat> she had prophesied from the altar that one day I would... Um, be in the worship team, that I will be singing from that same altar. Um, it did come to pass. Glory be to God. I, was, I became the worship leader at the church. I became the youth pastor, the administrator, and so many other things because God has gifted me with so many, many gifts for, to bring him glory and to reach others, to help others. I'm a very mild-mannered kind of guy. It takes a lot for me to get really hyper up, and when I do, it's usually in the spirit. But um, I do not take any, um, any mess from anybody, and I will not join anybody else's mess. I've had to deal with a whole lot of things, and this is the point of this entire story is there is redemptive power in salvation. Jesus can deliver us from whatever it is that we have been traumatized from. Jesus has the ability to go back to that very moment when you have been traumatized and heal you from that day forward because there's no time and space for him. And when he heals you from that point forward, the story points all to him, and you can't do anything but tell people about how amazing his journey, this journey has been with him, this walk, to be able to talk to him, to be able to feel him. And I mean, when I say feel him, to feel him just completely take over you and reassure you that he is with you, that he hears you. In a previous story, in a message that I told other people is this, I ended up in jail for 55 days. In those 55 days was the time that God said, okay, now that I have your full attention and you're going to read my word, here we go. And it's exactly what happened. And I remember that um, when that happened, I remember being angry at God because I asked God, how long has the enemy tried to just do away with me? He says, since you were even in your mother's womb, when you were five years old and on and on and on. And I asked him, I said, do you hear me when I talk to you? The ne very next morning, one of the um, prisoners that I used to look after, or, um, and I went out into the, the courtyard, and he said to me, God says, not only does he talk to you, he walks with you. There is a God, and God is amazing. And I wanted to share this story with you because I have not done a good job of coming on TikTok and letting you know who I am. But to God be all the glory. I'm running out of time here. I'm sorry this is so long. I just wanted to share this with you because somebody other needs to hear it. And I do not want to give the enemy a foothold. Yes, I still have mannerisms, but I can guarantee you I am in Christ. God bless you all. Take care.